Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Steve Collins coming to you from cloudy San Antonio, Texas, the second most powerful, passionate, and purposeful coach and speaker in the world. Over analysis paralysis. Many are the stumbling blocks on the road to success. And one of the most common is known as over analysis paralysis. You see at Keller Williams, we study personality profiles to determine who's a great fit for a job because you know it's one thing to be able to do a job it's an entirely different thing to be able to excel in that job and love the job so we study various personality profiles and there are four primary personality profiles the D which is a driver dominant and intense go get them make it happen there's the I which is kind of the life of the party the life of the party there's the S, which is stable, steady, cool. And then there's the C, which is an engineer type, which is compliant, follow the rules, make sure everything is in order. And so adapting our natural communication style to accommodate the communication style of someone who we have perceived as one of those four increases greatly our ability to connect and get the message through. I know it's Jedi stuff for a lot of people. Trust me, you'll grow into the conversation. So here's overanalysis paralysis as a stumbling block. Let me define overanalysis paralysis just to make it easy. When an opportunity is presented to you and you do not yet have all the facts, all the details, and certainly you do not have any of the guarantees. What's up, Marvelous? No guarantees whatsoever. There's no guarantee. If anybody tells you there's a guarantee with a huge risk, this is what we call a fuchsia flag. Kind of like a red flag, pretty close to it. Overanalysis paralysis has robbed men and women for centuries from great opportunities because in the overanalysis, overstudying, overthinking, over figuring it out, crossing every T, dotting every I to make sure things work out perfectly before they take action. These ready, aim, 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 never ready, aim, fire. Well, these folks who take too much time to think through, work through, calculate all of the details missed the opportunity because it was taken by the woman or the man that said, fire, ready, aim, baby. Okay, sometimes I win, sometimes I learn. That wasn't a failure, I learned, and here's how I'm gonna get better next time. Those who take action, an imperfect plan today kicks the butt of a perfect plan three months from now. Now, I'm not talking in all things, please hear me, we're not talking black and white across the entire board of life. And yet there's an element of taking action that many wonderful people get beat to the punch on by those who have trained themselves to walk by faith and not by sight and to trust their relationships, primarily spouses many times, those that are closest to, for gut feelings, gut check. Let's look at what we've got, let's go. I saw a cute quote a couple of weeks ago it says when you're invited and given a seat on a rocket ship you don't ask which seat you just get on the rocket over analysis paralysis if an opportunity is presented to you it is natural for you to want to try to protect yourself and to be safe and not to get hurt and not to experience loss this is natural but you've got to be supernatural you have to be willing to risk something in order to gain something. Uh, my father, whom I love dearly, has a great quote which could have come out of the Bible. I think he says, no balls, no blue chips, son. You gotta take the big risks to have the big rewards. And sometimes your crop will fail. It's okay. Does the farmer not plant the crop the next year because hail destroyed it this year? Because <laughs> well, it could hail again and I could lose my crop. No, he plants again. And then it's flooded. Does he go, well, I had hail one year and, 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 it, <laughs> and then it flooded the next year. I'm not gonna plant. No, the farmer plants his crop. 
in season, stuff is going to happen. That's part of the game. My charge to you today is the next time you're presented with an opportunity, go for it. Jump on it. Make it happen. Step in. Take a risk. By the way, this is like working out. It's a muscle that for you may not exist yet, and you can develop it. And it will serve you greatly and introduce you to this tremendous adventure called life. It will introduce you to what we call the great adventure. Do you know that drama is a counterfeit to living the passionate life that your creator intended for you to live? Drama. So if you know folks who have drama, it's primarily because they're not walking in their purpose. You wanna know how to walk in your purpose? Walk by faith, not by sight. And see what happens. Have a great day, guys.